Okay guys, look like I am going to do a part two to the previous video I did on Lisa Marie Presley. Here on Microsoft uh, News, Google, what have you, we've got uh, an article that says LaToya Jackson pays tribute to former sister-in-law Lisa Marie Presley after her death. We miss you. Okay, nothing too unusual about that. Actually, I was waiting to see what the Jackson camp was going to do. And, of course, the first one that pops up is LaToya. And, you know, she her part in everything is always suspect, unusual, something. So, I'm reading through, and it's like, okay, let's see. LaToya is remembering former sister-in-law, Lisa Marie Presley, who uh, was married to Michael, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we know all that. that that's nothing new. And then she goes on, quote, we miss you, Lisa. Um... And she wrote on her Instagram, You will forever be in our hearts. I will never forget how much you shared the love you had for my brother with me. I thank you for being so honest, courageous, and explicit with your love. Now I'm like, explicit? What does she mean by that? Okay. <laughs> Here it gets even better. Um, LaToya's caption was backed by a slideshow featuring images of Michael and Janet Jackson with Presley as it was soundtracked by You Are Not Alone. Uh, she also included a handful of hashtags, including Gone Too Soon and Together Again. Now, Together Again is the title of Janet Jackson's new tour, right? Okay, <laughs> that's not the weird thing. She's like together again. That's almost implying that uh, Lisa and Michael are like back together. Now you and I both know Latoya has been playing the game with the hoax. She knows her brother's alive. So how could it be if Lisa really died that Michael and Lisa are together again? Okay. I mean, like, let me zoom in here. Uh, now, what do you think, guys? Something fishy about all this? I don't know. I really don't know. Like I said in the other video, I hope and pray she faked her death because that would mean she's alive and, you know, we don't have to sit around being heartbroken over it. But uh, her son committed suicide in their brand new house. She had a brand new house, and that's where he decided to kill himself. So I can only imagine how depressing that was for her on so many levels. You know, losing a child, they say, is really hard for a parent. That no uh, parent should lose a child. And, you know, we, all, we know all that. There's no reason to get into that. But just saying, so as I was saying before, I was going to wait and see what the family was going to do. I was more or less focusing on... Priscilla, you know, to see if she was going to make a statement. Of course, everybody in association with Lisa recently, you know, the guy who played uh, her father in the movie, and he's expressing his condolences. Pink expressed her condolences. I guess they were pretty good friends. And, you know, other people, as in Hollywood types, you know, who knew her. Also, Shanna Montegal was talking about... Uh, her and how at the very same time Lisa and her both were interested in Michael and of course uh, he ended up marrying Lisa so you know she said she was happy for Michael but at the same time kind of sad that you know it wasn't her so apparently from what I've been getting lately from the two posts she has she's not aware that he's alive either so the plot thickens as they say yeah it's getting interesting so i had not intended to do so many videos but when you have something like this unexpected come up it's it's like a whole new ball of wax suddenly you have to become eagle-eyed again and now you know where i was kind of relaxed with everything i'm back on high alert so there might be a few more videos coming in between the main video on the main video i'm doing that's the comeback video i know that's the one all of you have been waiting for and yes we've been waiting it seems like forever in a day this is going on year 14 come june and after that bam 
So there's a lot of reasons why this year is the year. And I'm sure a lot of you know about the meet and greet that's supposed to be happening in September. Maybe a lot of you don't. I don't know who you're watching, how you or what you know, if you follow me or you follow someone else. I haven't been on this lately. I've been tending to my own life, so to speak. Yes, I do have a life, and I do tend to it. So I can't do Jackson 24-7. I mean, you know, you're going to do that. You need to be married to the person to be doing that kind of thing. Anyway, um, just saying so. Let's be vigilant and keeping our eyes open. And if you see anything, you want to, like, send me a message about what you've captured that I may have not have noticed. Uh, I was talking to Kim. Thank you for the heads up. Uh, Lisa Marie Presley, if you look at the interview that she did with Kit Hoover after the Golden Globe Award show, um, as I said, her face was real puffy and she seemed a little short of breath, but the outfit she was wearing was all black. She was like dressed like Morticia, but she had a brooch that was like holding up the dress in the corner, and it was a snake. Now, I don't know what that means. It was like it's a snake emoji or what? Was she sending a message? I don't know about enemies. I'm not sure. Usually snakes mean enemies, unfaithful friends, that kind of thing. Uh, maybe she was trying to give a subtle hint of something. But, you know, who knows? And then as far as her looking like death warmed over, because she really did, that could have been done on purpose. Because she's always been a sharp uh, dresser. I mean, even and quirky dresser, too. But her hair is always usually full and fluffy, curly, pulled together nice. Her makeup and eye makeup is always done great, and she always has a glow about her, but she looked totally different, totally different, literally like death warmed over. hate to say that. I'm not being facetious or anything. I mean, she really did look bad, and I couldn't help but notice that. I guess that's why I didn't notice the little snake brooch, so interesting, right? Anyway, we will keep watching, see what comes next, but... I don't know, falling deeper and deeper into the rabbit hole. And as I told you before, Michael said, we ain't seen nothing yet. And he never elaborated on what he meant by that because he wanted us to sit back, wait and see. So, of course, I mean, what other choice do we have but to sit back and wait and see? And then, you know, look for somebody like me to point it out to you if you don't catch it yourself. So, oh my gosh. Let's see what happens next. But let me tell you, I don't know. I usually have a grip on things. I usually have a feeling about things. This one is just, I don't know, it just feels weird. I mean, I kind of feel guilty contemplating that it might just be a hoax, but then the other half of me feels sad if she's really dead and she's not giving, getting her just uh, due because people are thinking, oh, it's just another, you know, hoax or whatever, so... It's a double-edged sword, it really is, but no, I mean, no disrespect, so if she's really gone, I feel really bad about it, because as I said before, she seemed like a really cool person, and I mean, she deserved to live and have some happiness, and I feel bad about her son committing suicide in her new home, and I just, I can only imagine all the stress and things she's been going through before, during, and after that, you know, you never know what somebody's going through until you step into their shoes, or Usually what happens is when they're gone, then all the stories start coming about uh, about what they were going through. And, and, you know, we usually have no idea. So, you know, next time you want to criticize or be hard on somebody, think twice because you, you never know what they're going through. A lot of times you find out after the fact and then you feel like shit for treating them like shit or thinking the worst. So let's be kind to everyone. And regardless of whether you believe Michael's alive or not, or she is alive or not, just just remember to be kind and polite. You know, you can you're entitled to your feelings. You can believe whatever it is you care to believe. I mean, that's not important and it's not a contest. So keep that in mind. But also keep your eyes and ears open. Remember to love, listen, observe, view, and evaluate everything you see and hear. So that little uh, tidbit's always going to be in play as long as it's hoax is in progress and it's going to be in progress for a few more months people so <laughs> take that as you will hint 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 yeah it's coming to a head all right guys have a good night love you take care